All right, today we're gonna to talk about jean fitment and why your jeans don't fit you properly. This is the most common fashion mistake that I see men make, um, and it's been like that forever. I mean, as a man, as a kid growing up, I figured out what my waist size was, I figured out what my length was, and I just stuck to it. That's the jean that I ordered. But as I got older, I got more into fashion, more into Western fashion, um, and learned kind of like the styles and the way that your jeans have to work to fit your boots, I kind of conformed. And so now some of the jeans that I have are not the same size as others. You have to try on your jeans. You have to make sure that you are buying the jean that actually fits you properly and fits the boot that you're wearing properly. If you're wearing um, square toe boots and you're only wearing square toe boots, you need a jean that conforms and fits around a square toe boot properly. Um, so we're gonna talk about the two jeans that I wear the most. Um, there's many a different jeans out there. There's a many boots out there um, That you're gonna have to pair different jeans and different sizes with right like a cowboy cut jean We'll start with this one and we'll start with like the boots that I wear with this jean the most so a, a Wrangler cowboy cut jean is It's one of my favorite jeans. It might be my favorite jean ever. It's a very great fitting jean um, through the thigh and through the seat it just fits me well. Um, if you wear the slim fit Wrangler Cowboy Cuts, I have to size up in the waist. But I get this in my true to size waist. The regular Cowboy Cuts I get in my true to size waist. And I size up two lengths in in the um, inseam or the seam. So, or two sizes in length. So, when I was a kid, I wore 29, 30 in length. And uh, I thought that was right, right? Like, I didn't realize that my jeans were too short. Like I can't even wear 29, 30 now in length and I have not grown at all. But now I see it and I'm like, man, this looks crazy because I like the way that my jeans look when they're stacked on my boot. And I'll try and insert a picture of like what a good stack on your boot looks like. That's when the bottom of your jean kind of crumbles up. It's stacked over your boot properly. And there's plenty of room for when you sit down that your jean is not going to rise off of the shaft of that boot and expose the the shaft of your boot so a lot of people get these boots with pretty shafts on them you know like kind of like i mean this is kind of like average but they'll get you know different colors and different creations and they want people to see them and they'll shotgun their jeans which is when they tuck them in so don't be walking around like this i promise you you look crazy if your boots are shotgun, you better be riding, you better be riding bulls or in some muddy stuff. In that case, your pretty boot wouldn't even apply. But don't do that. That's the number one mistake people make when they're wearing jeans with cowboy boots is tucking your jeans into your boots just to show off the shaft of your boot. Um, the guys who are really in this fashion and really in that culture, they're looking at you like you're crazy because there's just no reason that you need to do that unless you're actually working. Um, so don't do that. That's the number one mistake. So back to getting the proper jean to fit around your boot, right? So this is the Wrangler Cowboy Cut. I'm going to show you the boots that I tend to wear with it, right? Like I would go with um, like a traditional uh, round toe or a J-toe boot. It's like your traditional cowboy boot. Um, Cayman skin. This is Tacoma's. Uh, this is one of my favorite boots, actually, but I'm just going to try and simulate here. Let's see if I can pick the right leg. Yeah, this is it. What it would look like and how it's supposed to look when it goes down over your boot. All right. So this is... Obviously, not. I'm not going to be able to simulate the stack right now, but like I said, I'll insert a picture. That is how your jeans should look over your boot right like it shouldn't be dragging the ground it shouldn't go past the shaft um it's just i mean past the heel stack it should sit right there on your spur shelf that that part right there should really stop your jean from going down past your heel you don't want a jean that's too boot cut for a boot that you don't need a jean that's really boot cut this is more I would call this more of like a straight leg fit is what the cowboy cut is. It's a it's a taper there. They fit a little looser through the uh, calf. Um, but it is still tight to where it's not going to drag the ground even when you're wearing these narrow boots. So in comparison to this square toe, 
you can see that that's quite a bit more broad there. Um, and it's going to basically stop your jean from going down to the actual heel of that boot. It's not going to fit properly. So I'll kind of show you what that looks like with what would be really a straight leg jean. So essentially, if you were to wear a cowboy cut jean or like a straight leg jean with this boot, a broad square toe boot, you see how that's not going down and touching the shelf of the boot on the heel and it's not really coming down on the sides here. That's all because this boot is just a little too broad in the shaft to allow for more skin on the vamp because it's got to give you more room for your toe. Don't get me wrong, that's a very comfortable boot, but it's not meant to be worn with a straight leg jean or in that case, even a cowboy cut sometimes. So again, you have to try on your jeans to make sure you're getting the right jean. And if you have a limited amount of boots, like let's say you have, you know, four or five pair of boots or even less, it should be really easy to figure out a jean that really works for you. Like for me, I have two pair of jeans, Wrangler Cowboy Cuts, and the Area M5s that I wear with everything. And so this is a perfect example of why you need to try on your jeans, right? Because this says straight leg, but it fits more like a bootcut jean. Like if I was to get the Area M5 in a bootcut jean, it would literally, it would literally drag the ground. Like I, I had that issue where my jeans would drag the ground and get frayed up. And I can kind of show you an example of that. But they would get frayed up and then you kind of ruin in your jeans. They'll rip a lot easier. You'll step on them. They'll split in half. Which is another reason you don't want to cut your jeans to make them fit around your boot. I see so many people do that. Um, and you're ruining a great pair of jeans. Like these jeans will last forever if you do not cut the bottom. I know they're only, you know, they're $50 to $80 a lot of the times, which is pretty, pretty expensive. But uh, I know a lot of people are like, I'd rather have a jean that fits over my boot, but you can solve that issue by just getting the jean that fits you properly, fitting it with your boot properly. Um, so I'll show you what this jean looks like over the um, the square toe, the broad square toe, kind of like an example of what it should look like and it not dragging the ground. And I'll try and insert a picture here as well where you can actually see this on me. I'll actually pair this boot with this jean, insert a picture so you can see it. Now, I don't want it to look like I'm forcing it because I'm really not, but you can see that this, um, this jean fits right over this thing properly. It sits, sits on the shelf easy as soon as I put it on and that's how that should look. If you get an area M5 with your broad square toe boots and a cowboy cut with your narrow, um, traditional cowboy boots like this with your round toe, your taller heel, it's going to work every time. It's going to look good. My favorite look is to go with these with the cowboy cuts. It just gives me a taller presence. Um, just looks absolutely classic when you start those things up. But just make sure you're getting the proper jean for your boot. Don't do any kind of crazy methods like cutting the bottoms or, um, you know, trying to tape your boot. You don't want to tape your boot up to stop your shaft from printing on your jean. Um, because what that's going to do is... Um, create a lot of moisture in the bottom of your boot. I mean, you, you're gonna be sweating if you do that. The, the boot is designed to give you a little bit of slippage in the heel. So whenever you're, um, you go to pull out of the boot, it will like literally give you a little bit of room there where you're not just glued in. But that also allows for a little bit of air to circulate in the boot and uh, kind of keep your feet dry. If you're just in there taped up not letting any of that like moisture kind of escape from the boot. Um, you're really going to mess up your feet and it's kind of going to break in your boot a lot faster. It's going to keep your soles moist. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I'll insert the pictures and kind of show you guys what the jeans are supposed to look like. I'll tag the jean and, and label it. And um, yeah, yeah. If you make those changes to your wardrobe by the right length so that the jean stacks onto your boot properly and is not just way too short, um, you know, 
it's uh, it's gonna make a huge change to your style and the way that your appearance looks when you're wearing boots. It looks a lot better and a lot classier, and I promise you, people are gonna notice. And um, I, I feel like you could pretty much get away with wearing anything if you have the proper fitment with your jeans and your boots. A lot of people ask me how I can pull off anything, and it really comes down to the right fitment of your clothing. And the most important piece is the way your jeans fit to your boots and how long they are in length. And I will show you guys an example of a boot that's too short. I mean, a jean that's too short that doesn't fit around a boot that it's meant to fit with. And then I will show you what that looks like properly. Well, there you go. I hope I kind of helped you guys out with some fashion tips there and get you looking better in your jeans and your and your boot combinations. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments. Please like and subscribe so I can continue to make videos like this. And y'all keep cowboying on.